Hey guys, back with another video, and as you know, I love DreamWorks. I've talked about mainly the How to Train Your Dragon series a few times on this these videos, but I want to talk about one thing in particular that I love about DreamWorks. More specifically, I should say, How to Train Your Dragon. I don't know if a lot of other their Dream of DreamWorks movies have done this, but they do it a lot in How to Train Your Dragon. Is that the animation on the eyes? That's something that DreamWorks has over Disney for so many years. Disney's great at expressing characters a lot of the time and expressing that. While DreamWorks, they can make you feel stuff just looking at the eyes of the characters. They put detail, so much detail. And sp again, especially into like Hiccup, Astrid, Toothless. They put so much of it into the characters because if you look closely in so many scenes of How to Train Your Dragons with zoomed up on the characters' faces, if you look close enough, you will see the reflection in their eyes. Like in How to Train Your Dragons 2, before we are shown the destruction that Hiccup's seeing and showing to Astrid, when Astrid sees it, we can see it in her eye. We can see the destruction that Eret and the Dragon Hunters and Drago did. It's so beautiful. I love DreamWorks for that, man. DreamWorks has some of the best environmental feeling animation. I don't know what the, to call it, because I know there's a word for it, but atmosphere, there it is. Some of the best atmospheres come from the How to Train Your Dragon movies. Not saying a lot of others. Shrek was a fun animation. You could see a lot. Well, is it good? Could you see what they saw in Shrek with How to Train Your Dragon? Shrek's a fun movie. I was going to tell this video <laughs> favorite DreamWorks, and I should, I should title, retitle it Favorite How to Train Your Dragon DreamWorks animation effect. Because I just... Uh, the effects on their eyes are just beautiful. I especially noticed it with uh, in Homecoming. Because I love watching... I haven't watched Homecoming. And I haven't watched 3. Also, fun fact about How to Train Your Dragons 3. Um, the budget for How to Train Your Dragons 3. $122 million... Or $123 million. It made... $500 and $22 million in box office. I don't blame them, man. That movie is the end of an era. The end of a legend. The end of a legacy. Yes, we have Homecoming, but shut up. How to Train Dragons has withstood 10 years at least. Movies, games, spin-offs... I even downloaded one of the mobile games when I had an i an iPad or a, no a Kindle. I would love I as a fan I would love to be see them continue the How to Train Your Dragons franchise, but I understand that you can't make a movie series go on forever. Cue every horror movie franchise. But yes, I know that movies have a franchise has to stop eventually. And How to Train Your Dragons truly ended perfectly. <laughs> How to Train Your Dragons had the perfect, pretty much a perfect villain. I don't want, from what I see, Grimmel is a great villain. I wouldn't say, actually no, I will say, of the three movies, he's probably the best. Drago was just a jackass who was power hungry. Grimmel wanted to kill every dragon. And when that venom that he would put in the dragons, that's sick. One thing I love it, and I found it I loved doing this before the movie even came out, was the, the still shots in the seat the costumes the hiccup Astrid hit uh, Astrid hit bleh, the costume that hit, the writers I'll just say had that I'm guessing were modeled after Hiccup suit and High Training Dragons too. The reason I love them is because um they they look like Power Rangers. And if anyone disagrees with me, come on, man. They look like dragon-themed Power Rangers, which I'm shocked they haven't done yet. They either look like Power Rangers or I say they look like lost members of the former... Of the legendary WWE tag team demolition. 
There's nothing more I could say about the Hunter Hunter Dragon animation. It's beautiful animation. I wish I could have watched this, these movies in 3D. I watched How to Train Your Dragons 1 on TV, so it would be impossible to watch it on 3D. I watched How to Train Your Dragons 2 on uh, my Kindle on Netflix, and here's how that had to work. Since my... I had the Kindle on Christmas in, when I was in sophomore year in high school, I believe. Or junior, some shit like that. And uh, a problem I always had with that stupid thing is it constantly logging off the Wi-Fi. Or being slow and shit. So one day, I got so irritated with this thing. To where I threw it, and I broke my charger. It still worked, but it, I kept having to order new Kindle chargers. And the way they worked was like this. Um, I could only use them if it was standing directly on the charger, which was annoying. And the more annoying part is the battery would drain as it was plugged in. So I had to watch about... It took me like two days to watch the movie because I had to... I drained the battery, then I had to recharge it. The part I remember ending on part one of The Hunter and Dragons 2 was when Astrid tried to intimidate Drago. Um, this video is very weird, I know. Um, what can be what left can be said about how to train your dragons? One of the most beautiful, one of the most awesome, one of the best animated trilogies of all time. Who knows? Maybe when everyone who grew up with these movies is old. Like in their, so like few like thirty or forty years in the future, they finally do a, like a How to Train Your Dragons four. I always love that idea. Like, the, I mean, for the love of God, I, I when I was a kid, I saw The Incredibles, and I couldn't wait for them to make a sequel. Fifteen, f f one decade later, I get my wish. Over a decade later, Incredibles 2. It unlocked so much for me to watch that movie. I'll say this. Incredibles 2, one of the best sequels I have ever watched. And God damn it, it was worth the wait. One thing I love with Hunter, back to Hunter Jane Dragon. Uh, this is off topic from the animation. One thing I love is that people have said, mainly critics, so them. Shut up, puppy! One thing critics have said is that Hopper Trainer Dragon 2 is the weakest one, yet all three of them are at least over 95, or at 95, on Rotten Tomato. Weakest one, huh? I believe the weakest one to them would be a 95, and that would be How to Train Your Dragons do. The first one's a 99, almost a straight 100%, and I do not disagree with that. How to Train Dragons 3, I believe, was 97. So yeah, when 95 is your lowest... I've always said I could never get into Race to the Edge, Defenders of Burke, um... I don't know why I could never get into the shows. I wish I did because they involved the characters so much in between them. I watch clips all the time on YouTube. But, um, yeah, I never understood why I could never get into them. Anyway, that's it for this video. Sorry that this keeps getting, my views, this got sidetracked. But you're used to that. Later.